Hello everyone and welcome to Preacher Natural. I'm Chloe. Before we get started with this episode, I want to talk to you about something which might affect your reaction to this podcast as a whole. A thought terminating cliche or a thought terminating phrase is language that is meant to discourage one from thinking about a subject further. You may not realize it when it happens, but certain phrases cause you to discount information presented to you, and this podcast largely deals with subjects in this area. For instance, conspiracy theory might trigger you to picture a lunatic in front of a wall with strings leading every which way and talking about aliens or the government wrongdoing. Cryptozoology might make you think of Bigfoot and give you an image of a rather odd person doing rather odd things in pursuit of a glimpse of Sasquatch. I would request that you, the listener, make an effort to discount your initial reaction to discount anything presented to you here. Thank you. Now sit back and enjoy episode one, The Dinganek. There are many things that science can't explain in the vast universe we live in, and many animals that seem to walk the line between reality and myth. One such creature can be found in Africa and is known as the Dinganek. It could also be called the jungle walrus. And according to an article by Sarah Foley, it's 9 to 18 feet long, covered in scales, with a scorpion tail filled with poison, huge teeth, a square head, and in some depictions, even a possible horn. It's semi-aquatic, vicious, and territorial, and hunts anything it sees, including hippos, humans, crocodiles, basically anything that moves, as long as it's not an elephant, because an elephant is so much bigger than it. The article also contained a story told by Edgar Beecher Bronson about an explorer named John Alfred Jordan. In 1907, Jordan had an encounter with the Dinganek. According to the story, he shot at, but did not kill the creature in a river in Kenya. Apparently, he was hunting with guides when he saw it. He described it as a mixture of a sea serpent, a whale, and a leopard. It was 14 to 15 feet long with his head as big as a lioness, but shaped more like a leopard. It was also marked like a leopard. It had two long white fangs coming out of its mouth, and its back was as broad as a hippo, but scaled more like an armadillo. Jordan also said that it had reptile-like claws, and that when he shot it, it sprang up on its tail before it dove into the water. That very story was mentioned in the Journal of East Africa Uganda Natural History Society in 1913 in an article written by Charles William Hobley. Hobley also states in the article that he met a man that encountered the Dinganek and tells his story. According to Hobley, the man was wandering around the Mara River during a high flood when he saw the beast floating down the river on a log. The man said the beast was 16 feet long with its tail still in the water. He described it as a spotted like a leopard with scales and a head like an otter. The man fired a shot and hit it and the Dinganek slid back into the water. In 1918, McLean's a Canadian magazine reprinted some of the materials above about the creature and stated the evidence for the creature's existence was very positive and believable. The article basically says that they believe Jordan's account and it's foolish to attempt to discredit an eyewitness account. Besides these accounts, not much is known about the creature. While it sounds more like a Pokemon than an actual animal, it is worth noting that our understanding of what's hiding under the water is very limited. But tell me what you think. Could a beast such as this exist? Let me know what you think in the comments for the show. I thought it would be fun in the first episode to present a creature I had never even heard of until I started doing research for this podcast, even if it does make for a pretty short episode. Be sure to follow the Facebook page for updates and link to future episodes. You can also follow It's Just Clo, that's I-T-S-J-U-S-T underscore C-L-O, on Twitter for updates for this show as well as other projects I am involved in. Thank you so much for listening, and I just want to remind you that Preacher Natural will be back next week with part one of a series on mind control.